Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1402, part 3. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1402, part 2 and 3, start or the finished file so you can follow along. Click on the link below the video. Hey, last couple of videos we've been talking about putting check marks in a cell when the value is greater than 0. Now, the first video, 1402, we saw how to put a check mark in a cell with a formula. And in this video, we used the character function. In part two, we didn't use the character function. We used actual typed in characters. And under Exometric 1402, Bill Sizz is the power query master and poet posted a comment about how to do it with Power Query with the character dot from number function. Now we're going to need to know what number to type into this function here. And if you go to Wikipedia and type in checkbox, you get these hexadecimal codes here. And if you go to this site right here, and actually I've been wanting a site like this for a long time. This is an amazing site. Now, it takes a little bit of time to figure out how to use it. But once you do, you can find any of the decimal Unicode or hexadecimal Unicode values. Now, the ones we're going to need are 97459989, 1003, and 1004. Now, why so many? Because we can choose the type of check mark we want to use using the character dot from number function. Now, you know, if I was doing this in Excel, I'd still use this one. And if you look up here, we use the character P, and then we used wingdings2. But if you were importing data and needed to do this in Power Query, this is going to be an amazing trip. Now, in order to get a table of data from Excel into Power Query, it actually has to be converted to an Excel table. So I already did that. I went up to Insert and clicked on Table, or did Control-T. And then I very importantly went over to Design Properties and named the table. So the name of this table is Number Table. Once we have our data in an Excel table, in 2016 Excel, you can go to the Data Ribbon tab and Get and Transform as Power Query. If you're in Excel 2010 or 13, you actually have to download Power Query as a separate tab. In any version, we put our cursor inside the table. Go to From Table to import it into the Query Editor. Here's the Query Editor. There's our name, and there's a couple steps already chosen. And those steps are fine. Now we want to insert a new column. So I'm going to go to Add Column. And here it is, Custom Column. The name of the column is Custom. I'm going to highlight it and call it Check 9745. Now we get to build a formula here because we do have to have the if function to look at the value. And here's how you do the if function in Power Query. It's a little if space, no open parentheses. And now I'm going to double click this. This is that number column. So there it is in square brackets. And I'm going to ask the question, are you greater than 0? Then you type a space. Now we don't put a comma like we do in Excel. We type in lowercase then. And what do we want? character, all spelled correctly, and the correct case, capital C, dot from number. Correct case, correctly spelled. Open parentheses, and I'm just going to type 9745, close parentheses. So this little bit right here is the value if true. Then we come to the end, space, and we use else instead of a comma to get to value if false, space. And now I'm going to use double quote, double quote, which will show nothing. And that's our formula, no closed parentheses or anything. When I click OK, look at that. Now I'm going to add each one of those other items just to see how this works. I'm going to click the drop down in the formula bar, and I'm going to highlight just the part I want, because I'm going to use that and just change the number each time. Control C. Click on this column. Now I'm going to add a new custom column. I'm going to call this one Chick 9989. Control V, and I'm going to change the interior number. There it is, 9989. Click OK. Look at that. Add custom column. We'll call this one Chick 1004. Click Control V, change the number. Click OK. 
Looking good. Let's go to Custom Column. We'll call this one, as you guessed, 10003. I should have done the 3 first, but there we go. Click down here, Control-V. Highlight the number 10003. Click OK. Now I'm going to come over here and say we'll change it to Number Table with Checks and Enter. Now I'm going to load this. So I'm going to go to Home, Close and Load, Close and Load 2. I'm going to say Table on a New Worksheet, click Load. There's our new sheet. I'm going to double click and call this PQ Checks. And of course, this is dynamic if that source data changes from where it, wherever it is. You simply come over and right click, refresh. All right, that was a little fun with Power Query and check marks. Thanks to Bill Sizzes for this amazingly cool trick. All right, we'll see you next video.